Hello everybody, welcome back. We are doing VR tutorials as usual, uh, making Unity apps uh, for Android that you can put into your smartphone, which means there is no buttons being used. Instead, we are using the power of our gaze. Our eyes can activate things now. And I thought it would be appropriate, since it's the holidays and since it's Star Wars time, uh, that we would actually try to make a tutorial on how to use the Jedi Force move. So let's jump into it. Uh, in our last few episodes, what we've been doing is we've been learning how to, first off, teleport an object from one location to wherever you are. So now I've teleported the ball into my hand, I can carry it around, move it wherever I need to, which is great. And then we built a node system, so that way we can place the object in different locations. So let's go ahead and place it over here. Now it's there, we can grab it, teleport it back, teleport it over here teleport it back, to put it over here, you get the idea. Well, that's cool and all because, you know, reasons, but this is Star Wars, man. This is not Star Trek, so let's get rid of a bunch of stuff. Okay, and I'm going to check just to make sure that it still works even though I deleted everything. Okay, so we still have our ability to teleport things to our location, or, quote, into our hand. And that's great, but we... We want better. We want to use the Force, and we're going to. So here we go. We're opening up our Node Manager. Our Node Manager is what controls the ability for the nodes to land, or for the ball to land to different places. Uh, and we have two scripts here, in my hands and on the nodes. Uh, they're very, very similar, except on the nodes is omitting this line here. And that is because... Uh, the ball.transform.parent equals the holder.transform. We're parenting the ball to the holder, but only when it's in my hands, because we're going to want that thing to move around, and that's, you know, the reason for that. Now, for a node, <clears throat> a node is just going to be wherever it's at, so we get rid of the parenting, because we don't need to parent it, and instead we just tell it where it needs to be. Now, that's fine, but this doesn't really move it. It teleports it, which is cool, like we said, but it's Star Wars time. So what we're going to do is we're going to do something kind of similar, but totally different. Okay, so first of all, instead of using local position, we are just going to use normal position. And the reason for that is that all sorts of crazy glitches come up when you don't do it that way. Now, we're moving it, obviously, in a direction. In order to move things in directions, we have to use what is called a Vector 3. Okay, Vector 3 has a whole bunch of really cool properties, and one of them is called Move Towards. Okay, Move Towards itself is, I guess, just a function of what Vector 3 is, or what it's a, I don't know, a method, something like that. Okay, so it requires three bits of input, uh, the origin, the destination, and the time it takes to get there. So first, our, our, our origin. Our origin. There we go. What a strange thing to yeah, transform. Again, not local position, just normal. Okay, that's our first one. That's our, that's our starting point. Okay, because that's going to take wherever this is and say, okay, so here we are, now we want to know where we're going. And we're going to do the holder dot position. Yeah, we don't even have to use transform for that one, for whatever reason, who knows. I've tried it out, and I can't really tell any particular reason why it would work a, a different way. But we're both learning, and this is kind of fun too. So I have devised a time at which I like the ball to move. And so in order to do that, I've made time.delta time times 10. Okay, time.delta time is really, really slow. If we got rid of this uh, times 10, eh, the ball would take forever to get to us because it's only running one of time.delta time. So I ramp that up to 10, and now time is just going to fly. So, and hopefully, so will our ball. So go ahead and save this. I think we did pretty good here. We didn't use local position for anything, which is great. We didn't want that. 
and we do have to take this line into consideration. We can't leave that line and expect this line to work. So what I'm going to do is comment it out. Save. All right. Now, we are going to test this. And... Viola. Ta-da! You have just used the Force. <clears throat> and you didn't have to use any buttons. You just used the power of your very own eyes and drew it towards you. So now you can make things teleport, but now you can also grab them with the Force and move them about. So, excellent, guys. You did a very good job. I'm very proud of you, and I thank you very much for watching this episode. Um, in the next few weeks, I am planning to do a whole... Star Wars themed VR tutorial series on how to use the force move powers a little bit more. So uh, we'll take into consideration things like being able to put the put the objects back on the nodes, you know, but but move them there, not drop them there or teleport them there, and also how to uh, grab objects, but also take into consider their rotation. So you know when Han Solo is shooting at Darth Vader. Darth Vader catches Han Solo's blaster uh, by the barrel, with the, the, the butt of it facing towards him. And it spins through the air several times, so we're going to have to learn how to do that. Uh, and that's kind of cool. And, and think about, you know, when Luke was all tied up and, uh, you know, iced up and was reaching for his lightsaber. Well, we want that lightsaber to be able to land in his hand in the direct, in the correct way that it should be, because if he turns that lightsaber on and it's facing the wrong way, he might have just impaled himself. <clears throat> so, <laughs> I think that's it. I hope you guys had fun, and I hope that you will join me for some more uh, tutorials in the future. And if you haven't checked out any of the earlier ones, please go back and do that. The very first one details the GVR reticle pointer, and I, I find that it is one of the most important things to know about what we're doing here. So definitely check that out if you need to catch up. Otherwise, uh, be looking forward to the very next episode. See you guys then.